Alrighty, folks. Welcome back. I did get a fan request. I don't know. I know. <laughs> I guess I'm not, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that uh, this early in the game. But I had a, a viewer who wanted to see some Goku and Vegeta, which is just you know the classic duo. So I threw Oob on the team, and all these games up here I will go over in a separate video. But I need to show you guys the level of cheese that is happening here uh, in the B tiers that Chiaotu and Whis was well, able to take care of. You wish to fight me for real? So this is the first fight here. Obviously, uh, anybody leading off with Master Roshi, I immediately dislike and I think, man, this guy is gonna go to stall out. Also, uh, just, I gotta pause it here real quick before the fight kind of really gets into it. This timer here at the top, 353, this needs to stay the whole duration of the fight. I am tired of just guessing when somebody's after image strike is done. This timer needs to be up here or put a little timer right here when they activate their skill that counts down 15 seconds. So I know when after image strike is done. That being said, let's go ahead and continue the fight. Uh, Buff Roshi, I will say, he did have a nice costume on, a different costume than usual. And when you don't know in these ranked matches, I think this was probably like a B2, B3-ish, somewhere around there. I ended up, I think, losing a rank or two, even though I've won, like, I feel like 11 or 12 games, like, per loss. I, that, to, for him to be able to tech that grab was utterly impressive. I do have to say that. I will also say, obviously, Whis being a 10, I really do enjoy the utility and stuff that he has to offer, especially with that healing. I feel like it helps mitigate a lot of... Uh, some of the cheese that we kind of get going on here in uh, B2, B3. And there's, uh, I think there's another cheesier game here later that I really have to go over that, and honestly surprised me. This guy, I think he was in C3, C4, and he was really good. I also just didn't know that he had a fourth guy in the back. So he does the thing that every Master Roshi does when you're losing, and that's, oh boy, let me go into... Uh, Thin Roshi form and instantly pop after image strike. Oh, so what does he do? He goes in a thin Roshi and instantly pops after image strike. So let's see how that turns out for this fella here. I am pretty much back to full health after that snack, but he just keeps getting behind me and manages to get some damage on here. I, at this point, just try to keep my distance and try spamming Key Blast, but sometimes that's a little difficult, especially since. When you press triangle, for me it's triangle, the key button. That if you're too close to somebody, you're going to hit them with like a heavy attack or something. And it's just going to ruin you and kind of keep going into their after image strike. As you can see here, that after image strike took away two bars of my health. Two bars of my health. And that's only because I healed. I have no idea how long this timer was. Oh man. And then this guy pulls out the trunks. Listen, I love trunks. I've always been a trunks fan. It's literally on my YouTube icon. But the stuff that I've seen people pull off with this Trunks is absolutely absurd. But he is also cheesy, as well as being a lower cost, just like Roshi. Something that I think needs to probably be touched on in maybe the DLC 1 patch outs or maybe an in-between. I just think the DLC is going to be the best time to kind of do big game updates because they're not going to be, you know, they're not going to be every week. There, there's three drops, three DLCs that we know of, and for me, three big, hopefully, updates and patches to change some things like the either after image strike, timer, hopefully, leaving the regular timer up here, or, you know, just the, maybe upping some costs. Because Roshi, every time I see Roshi, I go, dude, this is not going to be an easy, clean fight. He feels like a four or a five. I, I want to lean more towards he feels like a 4 than really a 2 or a 3, if we're being completely honest. He just has way too much going for him to be that low of a cost, in my opinion. You know, everyone's got their own opinions, and guess what? That's mine. But I do bring in the Frieza Soldier here that was kind of doing a little bit of damage here. And this guy's pretty good with the perceptions. Uh, I think I'm good with the super counters. I swap out here to maybe preserve some health because I don't know how many guys he's sneaking here in the back because he has Roshi. And then, and then he brings out Vegeta. And I want you to look at the Vegeta here because he's rocking a, the Saiyan armor, like the black uh, undershirt stuff, and then the boots and the gloves. And you're gonna go, oh man, this is like super Vegeta if you're just looking at him. 
But if you're looking at the top right section up here, you're realizing this is Scouter Vegeta. This guy, the level of cheese for this man, I'm, I'm very happy how this game ended. Game two and game three, which are with a um, different player, are a lot closer and I think kind of challenged me a lot more like just as a fighter and learning and how to kind of deal with different things. But this guy was just straight up cheese, man. He was straight up cheese, and that's something that I, I really dislike playing against. I'm not sure if that's something that, uh, you know, can kind of be handled with patches and whatnot, because that's not necessarily a character issue, it's more of a player base issue. But, he's playing Vegeta here, we're pretty much even on health, I kind of got him down a whole bar without him doing too much to me. And at this point too, I was wondering, I was like, man, when is this guy ever going to, like, when is he going to go Super Saiyan? Because he's wearing the black gi. And then I saw this, and I went, oh, no. Oh, no. There is no way that he's going to gradate me. So I hit him with a dot on a raid to let him know who he's messing with. Because dot on a raid is a nice 7,000. He does get a lot of health back after that. Dot on a raid does chip at it pretty nicely. And I will say, uh, playing as somebody who's played as a giant. Also, I cannot believe he, he banished that. That is insane. That is insane. But also, look at Shiano Super countering the ape. And since he's doing this strategy here, where he's just trying to take advantage, it looks like, of that uh, that dash that is unguardable, I believe you can perception it and maybe vanish it. But with Whis here, and I know that he doesn't really have sights on me, or shouldn't have sights on me, I'm like, alright, this is going to be it. This is the time to get rid of this big ape. I come in, charge all the way up, he wastes one of his skill counters, and then kind of just keeps going for the offensive there. Still a little unsure how an ape that size is uh, vanishing instantly. But I hit him with a Holy Donon Ray in the back. Wake him up. He once again just goes for the charge that, and then just starts swinging. He just starts swinging, bro. And that's how and that's why Yajirobe cut his tail off. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's just pressing buttons. And that's one of the things about uh, a lot of these guys that are playing over here on Ranked. I know you're playing to win. You're bringing cheesy stuff. But it just feels less skillful, man. They're like, if you're playing Roshi a lot... I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, I want to fight this guy all the time. I hate fighting against Roshi, bro. After Image Strike, the, the Lightning Strike dashes. I mean, there is just so much annoying about his character. How slow he hits. So it's a lot more difficult, I feel like, to get super counters off. Even though I just get got a super counter off right there. He's small. He's a small character. He can be dodging and avoiding you. Like, no problem. If, you know, I, I know the melees and all this stuff kind of tracks, but... Hitting a smaller character is definitely an advantage, and I can say that because I play Chaosu. Alright, with two or three of his guys down, I'm like, who does he have left? Uh, and it's just the Trunks. And I'm like, dude, alright, this guy's got 30 seconds left. I really don't know if he has any, anybody else in the back. I need to do as much damage to this Trunks to ensure that I can win. To ensure that I can win, that's pretty much it. Whole sentence stopped right there. I miss a dot on Ray. He goes right by me, gets a nice super counter off, can't lie. But you know what I think? One of our first vanish and only vanish wars of the fight? I hit him up, I hit him down, I raise his self-confidence, and then I lower it again, immediately. And then, imagine this, imagine this! I don't know if he has any more characters. Ten seconds left, he brings in a character full health. Full health! chaozu has gone, I think Freezer Soldier might be in the back still. Oh, he is, I can see the little indicator on my screen. But a full character, I was like, dude, this could, this this might be it here. So at this point, I was like, you know what? I'm just maybe going to be a little evasive. And then it clicked in my head. Maybe I should do damage just in case. So I do kind of just pressure him a little bit. Maybe try to be aware of any grabs. And then the match is over. I win right there. And I know that this, like, isn't the most interesting fight because the opponent is kind of just using some cheese characters. But I promise you, the second fight here, the second and third fights here, are much, much better. Uh, this one here, I mean, look at, I mean, look at this. This guy is using two characters that I've almost never seen played online: Full Power Frieza and Final Form Cooler. Let's see how this game goes. <laughs> oh, that's enough with the bloodlust. I'd be happy to play with you. Whis voice line. Looking voice line. To have the life choked out of you. Frieza is mad confident to be talking to Whis like that. I don't know how he really comes up with these numbers. And since this is our first fight, I think he was pretty even to me as far as uh, rank. One thing I will say is I did not know that this full power Frieza 
pretty much spawns in with all his key, which is great for early game because he'll probably win a lot of the Banish Wars. Uh, at this point, I'm kind of just still feeling him out, still kind of seeing an idea of what Frieza could do, and maybe trying to remember what some of his skills are and what he could uh, kind of go for. I think this guy does also have an Insta Sparking. A lot of the, a lot of characters do. I, I can't lie, you know, a lot of characters do. I do get a nice little back hit combo on him before he stops me with a super counter. Um, there's his Insta Sparking, and this is another reason. So I hit him there a couple times, but it just doesn't break through. I did not uh, think it would do that. And then he hits me with one of the, those charge moves, which I think is kind of his big strategy here. And it's probably something that's got him pretty far in the ranks. He does throw these unstoppable pizza slices at me, but I somehow get away with them. Only dodging, or only taking a thousand damage. He pops Insta Sparking again. Sorry, I had to do that just so it switches the controls. We go to a Banish War, and I'm like, oh no, please. This, could, this cannot end like that. I'm trying from, for the life of me to just buy time to get away and then he hits me with one of those man and that puts me behind massively and then he's also laughing at me and then on top of that cooler's got three and a half health bars oh man this was tough so we go to a vanish and another character that spawns in with full key but i knew at this point that i was like dude i cannot lose Whis if he still has frieza still has this guy and probably somebody else in the back so I bring in Frieza Soldier, who ironically would have been pretty good to maybe fight Frieza. We go into a Vanish War after some super counters here. He has a health advantage, he knows that. And one of these combos that he does here with Cooler is actually another reason that I really wanted to show this video. Is he has a very nice tech with it, and it's something that I kind of want to add to my arsenal and skills. So I think he goes for the, one of the low sweeps here. But I don't. I guess I don't let him get, uh, get it off. He does it, I think, on Whis on the second fight or later on in this fight he has a strategy where he gets a really good combo on you kicks you up and then uh sidesteps behind you so he can kind of reset and then keep the combo going i throw the full power charge off on my frieza soldier just so in case it gets to a vanish war i can maybe win and for some reason my guy didn't turn in the correct direction and he just takes my back and immediately takes care of frieza soldier I cannot pick who I switch into, so unfortunately it is Whis. I would have probably liked to switch into Chiaotzu. However, I do think this works out pretty well. Once again, he's in Sparking, doesn't have Insta Spark charged. And I'm just trying to buy time because I don't know how he's gonna play it. You know, sometimes all it takes is for all it takes is one guy to play real cheesy for one sparking and the whole game changes, you know? Who would have guessed? He goes for a very raw just Rush attack there, does not work, so I have to hit him with a holy Dodon Ray. And then he gets me back with a nice little uh, Revenge of Death Beam or whatever that move is. I'll be honest, I don't know what it is for Cooler. Have not played uh, this version of him yet. This combo here, watch, uh, never mind, it's not this combo, I lied. But I know it's, I know it's gotta be in this one. And I'll be honest, I was struggling a lot here. Especially seeing myself on my last bar of health. I switch out into Chiaotzu, luckily. And I figure, oh, you know what, Chiaotzu's got the strength to deal with this guy. And then I lose I lose the fight war. Or the... That! That little side dash behind me to keep it going is something that he does a lot and is actually pretty good at. So I do uh, commend him for that. But this second fight is... It's an entirely different war. It's an entirely different dimension. Frieza finally gets put down there. Understanding that Chiaotzu is the supreme being of the universe. And that he should probably just uh, give up his whole galactic domination thing. I hit him with another after image strike, which is something that I really do love about Shiaotsu. He activates the sparking again, but I do have the after image ready, so I know that even if he charges me, I can kind of get out of it. I'm unsure of what he wants to do now since one of my um, charges is gone, but I do get another like really nice sidestep behind him, and it somehow turns into him teching my grab. I feel like from an angle he shouldn't have, but you know. That's just that's just part of the game. And then he throws two pizzas at me, and Chiaotzu absolutely does not believe it's the Giorno, and gets slaughtered there. So now it's just me, the Frieza, and maybe somebody else in the back here. He goes for the, uh, the unstoppable pizzas again, gets a huge 10,000 damage off on me, and at this point I'm like, dude, I'm going to lose to this guy if I do not pick it up. He brings in Cooler. I luckily get the stack off there. He's charging me down. I gotta take the aggression here because look at the difference in these health bars. Granted, after that combo, it's a little more even. 
And after that Holy Dodon on Ray, it's actually in my favor. But I really don't know if he has anybody in the back here. And that's a, kind of a theme that, you know, it plays on your plays little tricks on your mind when you're playing in a DP ranked. You're like, oh, is Cooler a uh, 8 cost? Is he a 7 cost? Is there somebody in the back that I need to be worried about? Can I count to 15? That's a big one. Can I count to 15? So a question I ask myself every day before I get in a ranked battle. And he's getting the advantage here on me. He also does have a swap out here. I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm expecting those 60 seconds to come up on the clock any minute now. And I'm like, dude, if he beats me with this, especially knowing how cheesy Mr. Satan can be, I'm like, dude, I just, and like kind of how time stalled he can be, I'm like, I just need to get rid of this guy. I need to finish this. Something happens right there. I vanished. He still hits me with this rush attack, by the way. I have no understanding how that happened, uh, but it did. I, I vanished. I teleported. I'm literally in a different dimension. Look at this face. I love it. Uh, and then I'm like, I just got to take care of this stuff here. He's activating all these buffs, and I just need to get rid of him as fast as I can. Luckily, I do a ton of damage to this guy. Unfortunately, he's pretty good with the super counters. And there's the 60 second timer. I do beat it by a little bit, kind of a... Counting down the seconds here, I try getting off a snack right there because I always get my snacks off uh, in between them swapping in and out. He gets the advantage on me because for some reason, he spawns here instead of like on any other part of the map. And I feel like it's been different every time. This is probably something else they should maybe fix. Is just kind of like where your character loads in. Uh, but I digress. He's he's giving me the hands, and I I somehow press enough buttons to get out of it. I had a nice little dash on him, get behind him, and I'm able to seal the game up with one HP on Whis, man. Incredible game, incredible game. But let's go ahead and get into a game two right now. Alrighty, folks, we do have the second game here, and now that I really know what I'm up against, and and the voice lines are out of the way, which is really the most important thing, I can kind of put on a clinic, really put on my big boy tryhard pants, and try to beat this guy. Not because he's using cheese, and he's not really using cheese, you know, he's using insta sparking, but for the most part, I really do like his character selection. It doesn't feel, you know, I know he brought the Hercule, because it's only, a, you know, it's the only one cost character. But I feel like the way that he fights and the way he's kind of playing and stuff was pretty good. It was really good for just kind of getting better, I'll be honest. This is one of the players that pushes you to be better and not bitter, and I really like that. Do get a nice little 12,000 combo on him to try to get him out early. And one of the things that I learned is like is that I just don't want to let this guy... Um, one, insta-spark or swap out. He insta-sparks, I'm like, Jesus, and, and because I have to dodge the flying pizzas. And he's throwing more pizzas at me! So I have to do some evasive maneuvers. Because he's stuck in that animation the whole time he's throwing those, by the way. Just another little fun fact, another way to counter full power Frieza. If he ever throws pieces at you. We get into a Vanish War. I slam him down to the ground. And with his health being this low, I'm like, you know what? I need to put an end to him now. Not let him bring him back in. No more insta sparking. And just like that, uh, cool, Cooler. <laughs> Frieza is gone. Uh, cooler is coming in. I'm popping my snack here, as you can see. And let's see how this plays out a little differently. So I don't know where he spawned in there, but it does not seem like the same area we were fighting in last time. It's kind of what I was talking about. But <gasps> no more. Hello? Game? Hello? I think my game crashed. Oh, no. Wow, scrumptious. Whis? Whis, what's scrumptious? Oh, no. It crashed. Well, that's how I won the game. It crashed. Alright, I think this is where we were at before uh, things went a little sour. Now, I swap right back out in a Freezer Soldier, preserving Whis, knowing how good he is, especially after I got that snack off. Uh, just preserving him in the back. He kind of does the same thing here with Cooler and makes Freezer Soldier look really bad. But Freezer Soldier does have some fight in him, and he does try to get some damage off, and maybe help Chiao too. I pop the full power there to. Uh, Make sure that I have enough key in case things go to a Vanish War because this guy's, both of his characters have full key. And against somebody normally, I wouldn't really have an issue Vanishing War, maybe. Okay. I do not use mouse and key. I just hate when the key, the mouse and keyboard options pop up for super attacks. But I digress. And let's go back to Frieza Soldier. Actually, kind of giving some hands to Cooler. Actually, I think doing a lot more than he did last fight. Kind of playing a little smarter now that I kind of know how he plays. Waiting for those homing dashes and then kind of sidestepping them to hopefully get a dash in. 
I see him perceptioning there, so I do rip the full power wave, but he is fast enough to get a guard out of it. But that's not going to stop me from trying. I do tech a nice grab there. He sidesteps me again. I super counter. We go into a Vanish War. And this is the Vanish War I was talking about, except this time we're actually pretty even on key. So who wins this one, man? Yeah, uh, he does literally barely. Literally barely. But I do go back out in the Weiss knowing that he's uh, low and that I could probably take advantage of him here. That right there, that little melee into sidestep to get behind me. Stops and encounters. The only way to get around it is super countering. So I do. Uh, this guy doesn't want to fight. And one of the things I probably could have done better, even though it might not have helped in this case because this guy is one of the. Um, he's resetting and going for your back a lot. But the Sonic Sway is probably something that I could really implement in my game a little more. I just don't like it because I know you can just kind of spam circle when someone's like beating the hell out of you. And it kind of works and it, it really shouldn't work like that. Uh, but it's something that I really do, should add to my game if it's something that they're, you know, that they're not going to take away. And with this final character in here now, I was pretty confident that things were probably just going to go my way. I didn't think that he was really going to beat me, Chiaotzu, and Frieza Soldier with uh, Hercule here. But I didn't want to, you know, really make the fight any longer than it had to be. I go up to get some distance on him there because he does have that spam that you saw he uh, caught me in the last game while I was teleporting. This dude's throwing off all of his uh, pluses here, all of his skills, wasting everything. And honestly, why not? It's your last guy in the fight, you might as well. But I really don't like Hercule here, so I'm slapping him up. And then I gotta go for an ultimate on him when he's got like 10 health, right? Yeah, why not, you know? Why not with Beerus? Just to kind of really put the exclamation point on the, hey, that first game was great, but the second game is mine. Uh, I don't think I rematched him. He did decline the rematch, I believe, after this. And with that out of the way, the you know, the two fair fights here. I think there's some ultra, ultra cheese with this last guy here, man. Tom Pixie. Tom Pixie, if you're watching this, just know that I hate your guts. As you can see, this clock is the full six minutes here. This guy is doing nothing but timeout strategies, but let's see how this game plays out differently. Let's see Let's see what, what goes in my favor, man. Once again, he's leading off with Master Roshi. And not only is this guy leading off with Master Roshi, he's also leading off in the World Tournament. And in case you did not know, it is the smallest stage, which makes it a lot harder to get away and kind of um, not be spammed. This guy, this guy right here, let me go ahead and take a picture of that. Um, this is all he was spamming. Lightning, surprise lightning surprise attack. It's a missed me. It's four key. Uh, you spam it a lot, and it's an issue that I haven't ran into, but I know a lot of uh, newer players are having an issue with Roshi literally just spamming. So I try to put an end to this guy as quickly as possible. He hasn't really done much to my health. And I was able to get that Dota on Rayon for a nice 12,000. Pushing him back pretty much into his last health bar. Oh, but don't worry. Don't worry. He has after image strike and lightning surprise attack. I it's four. <laughs> you missed me. You need glasses. I dodge both. And at this point, I'm just kind of spamming him with key. I do get a really nice chunk off here with some charge key. Because I think he's trying to switch out. Uh, something that's actually pretty funny. Something that I run into. An issue I run into later with the Goku and Vegeta fights. But for right now, we do have a Majin Buu, or a Super Buu, Go Tanks Absorb. So you probably already know what he's going to do. And that's Spam, that unguardable three key super. You don't believe me? Let's watch. Because that's what I was doing here. I was really watching. I was like, is this guy really pulling all this cheese off in the World Tournament Arena? Because World Tournament Arena and I think Hyperbolic Time Chamber are probably two of the sweatiest arenas you can have. And just the way this guy was playing with the lightning master attack, whatever it is, I really don't even care to name it because it's just so, it's so cheap. I go into the sparking here, and look what he's look what he's throwing at me, bro. Look what he's throwing. He was he was losing the fight, didn't realize he didn't know how to fight, and then just kind of swapped out. But hey, that's a familiar face, a Hercule. I just beat one of those. This guy's I think honestly doing a lot better job of kind of beating me up because he's for some reason like 10 feet off the ground but also getting a smash attack so i try to ultimate him and unfortunately this guy does tp which is unfortunate for me but i switch back into freezer soldier trying to get uh trying to keep the health advantage because i really don't know once again 
what this guy's cost is, or, or what the whole team that my opponent has is. I saw a Roshi. I saw a Super Boo with Gotenks Absorb, which is probably seven, if not six. Roshi's two, eight. We figure this guy's nine, so he's probably got somebody else in the back. I really just want to fight people, man. I am so tired of this, like, after image strike, wait out the full, you know, six minute timer and all this other stuff. It's just, uh, I think it's just a boring way to fight. And he has Broly, bro. Broly on a small stage, and I was like, oh no, this could go bad. For some reason there, I don't dash in there. I just kind of slowly jog up to his position. He's taking the advantage here with Freezer Soldier, and I really wish that I could uh, get an alt off or something to really clear the arena. Not look like I'll be able to get the opportunity for that. Broly is bouncing mad high. I probably could have gotten another uh, attack off there, but I did not. After the full power charge, I just kind of wanted to see what he was doing and maybe play a little more reactive instead of proactive. He's throwing a ton of key at me and goes with a smash attack. Something that I notice he's doing a lot with Hercule and some other characters, probably just trying to keep me on the ground. But I have to bring in Chiaotzu to handle Broly because he's the only one that is capable of stopping him. Uh, unlike Whis. You know, Whis fights Broly a lot, but Chiaotzu, he was made. He was built different, man. He's got all the psychic powers. He goes for an insane grab off the wall there and an insane another charge attack. I get a nice super counter off to stop him going for the combo. He tries getting around me one more time. But since I have the after image pop, it's not that big an issue. Hit him with a beautiful combo for a dot on Ray. He recovers. He gets up again. And I'm like, you know what? Let me dot on Ray him. He goes for a grab. And Broly's finally put down. So, with Broly put down, Master Roshi comes back out. Chiaotzu's pretty good as far as health's concerned. Out of skill counters. And for some reason, I cannot see him. He activates after image strike immediately upon getting back in and then throws off the master lightning strike why why i am so happy not a single one of those hits me this fight man because i know how annoying that can be and on top of that that is a super attack that will take your skill uh skill counters and bars away from you so it's a very deadly attack to hit him and i do hit him with a nice paralyzing uh key there maybe trying to get him on the swap and the reason that I ripped that dot on Ray there is because I was like, dude, I think my key is perfectly timed where if it doesn't, if he's like, you know, if he's not guarding that it's going to paralyze him, I'll get a nice dot on Ray off, some nice damage and make this fight a lot faster. Unfortunately, uh, does not go that way for me. He rips one of the weaker unguardables. I obviously get around it because he's not shout to. He goes for a silly, silly tech grab there. He gets behind me on the banish, goes for another charge attack. Once again, something this guy goes for a lot is a charge attack. There's another one! <laughs> what is this guy's charge charge McGee? What is this? But uh he really tries getting the upper hand on Chiaotzu, and it turns kind of into a mini unofficial banish war. Uh, until he rips this one more time, and I have to hit him with the after image and show him what the stronger move is, which is Dot on Rain. He does regenerate there, so I do like that he did spend his skill counters instead of uh charging up, which obviously works in my favor because he cannot spawn spam spam. Cannot spam the Lightning Surprise Attack or the Galactic Donut Volley with this guy. So I'll obviously throw some key and throw some Dot on Ray because I kind of, I don't know, there's, there's a, I thought like there's a point where if a player is not that great and they're not really challenging me to a fight, I'm kind of just not going to be interested in fighting. Like, you're really going to have to start putting the pressure on me. I'm pretty sure I'm already winning the Health War on this guy and I just wanted to see if he really had anything else in his arsenal besides just... Spamming after image strike and unguardable supers And I kind of want to make this experience as miserable for him as possible So hopefully he switches and plays some new characters He gets another switch in there pretty good because Hercule comes in on some nice uh, What are believed to be back shots that do not work out in his favor and he spams this one a lot, dude So that's three characters with uh, unblockables. I think mr. Satan super boo go tanks absorbed and he goes for another one immediately because they're so easy to get. I hit the after image into a dot on Ray to hard knock him down. And I'm like, dude, I am so sick of this guy. I need to end him fast if he really needs to kind of be put out of this ring and out of his misery. He hits a Sonic Sway on me, which is kind of a little unfortunate. But I do have a little more juice in the tank for Chiaotzu. And I think I'm able, going to be able to get Chiaotzu to finish Satan here. He does spam another one, my god, but I do hit him with a dot on Ray that he does lock. I see that 60 second timer counting down, and I'm like, dude, this is literally all your fault. So, I do take care of Hercule there, and I think this is his last character. 
I bring in Frieza Soldier because he's a pretty expendable and even if I lose him I do should win the timeout because of the health gates on my Whis. I pop the full power charge in case it goes to a Vanish War but obviously it's not going to go to a Vanish War. Look what this guy's using. Yeah, yeah he finally gets one out of the 18 he sent off in the game. Uh, all my counters are gone too so it's a really good thing I use that full power charge there. And he immediately tries charging back up, by the way, to get another one off because of how long you are kind of out of it. He rips another one here. Like, just one of the worst players I've ever seen. And it really, honestly, I'll be honest, it put a huge smile on my face knowing that I beat this guy and he was trying to time me out and that I won and was not going to rematch him because he's just playing like some... He's just playing like a... Oh, I don't know, I... I don't want to say like a loser, but he's just, he's playing very annoying. He's playing where it's just like, it's just spammy. So he can't find me really early on. And I just spam him while I'm in my, uh, while I'm in my ultimate, while I'm in sparking. I'm sorry. And I forgot that he had this guy back in here. So look at this, dude. I would have killed him right here. If this didn't go to timeout, I was going to kill this guy, man. I was going to KO him and knock him out before timer got to me. But that, I think, is it for all the cheese fights with, uh, with Whis and Xiaotu there. Very glad to actually put uh, a stop to this guy here. Uh, okay, and that okay, that's going to be it for the Xiaotu and the Whis video. I do want to quickly touch on the Goku and Vegeta. This fight was so cheesy, and as you can see, it was a timeout, a six-minute timer. And it's probably one that I will not show in the video. This was also another kind of cheesy win that this guy got, but he was a really good fighter. So, until next time, until Whis and Shoutsu come back to stop the cheese on the higher ladder, this is going to be it. And next video will be Goku and Vegeta taking on the ranked DP ladder along with Oob. Take care. See you later.